Yo, what's going on, family? It's your boy, Trap Vision 3D, man. Welcome back to the show. Okay, what's going on, beautiful people, man? Thank you for even watching this. So, in the next scenes, what you're about to see is a conversation I had with a couple of collectors on uh, Instagram, right? And I didn't want to shortchange anybody. I wanted everybody to be a part of this conversation. Now, I was going to go live, but I said, you know what? I don't want to have two lives of the same content, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, in this, you'll hear uh, the hearts and minds of the collectors, and you'll get a uh, uh, an understanding of what we're talking about. And uh, it pertains to Shop HQ, uh, Invicta, and one particular host that we consider to be an awesome guy. And what well, you just have to see was he put in a bad position. Uh, or I don't know what the I don't know what to think of this situation, but I do know at recording we didn't know when he was going to go live. You'll understand what I'm saying as you watch this next clip, the next few clips, and you'll understand because there's an actual live show that he's going to be doing. So enjoy. Yo, what's happening, IG Triple IG? And this will be uploaded to YouTube. So what's happening, YouTube? What's going on? What's good? What's Gucci, as some would say. So I know right now uh, I'm actually out. And uh, I'm getting myself together, man. Your boy getting back in the swing of things health-wise. Uh, got a lot of stuff going on, man. But that's not even why I'm here. Uh, if you came in and you saw the title, uh, what's going on, Vic? What's going on, Joe? Yo, Joe, what's happening? Uh, ex Cal Trelease, hey, what's going on? You and your husband with y'all cruising information sales. Good morning. Uh, so today, y'all, so y'all know, y'all see what I got, man? I'll be repping this, man. I, I love this, uh, this sweater. This is actually white, these. I've been, I got a gray one and a black one. Uh, what's going on? Semi Com Reviews DK is in the building, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, man, let's just jump right into it, man. In recent news, in recent news, maybe I should go back to what we know about Invicta, right? So, if you are an Invicta collector, you have been a part of some of the best events, some of the most phenomenal meetups, uh, legendary. You know, there's an Invicta family. And in, I'm going to tell you this. I've looked at a number of watch companies, and there is excitement against, you know, uh, when you're talking about the wind-up events, the uh, micro-brand micro brand events, and things of that nature. Uh, you get to see some of the new stuff that's coming out, all of the different uh, watches and the watchmakers. But then you also have events at, like, ADs where a uh, Seiko representative will be there, or somebody from Rolex or Cartier. But Invicta... Had, is a completely different animal. Completely different. So, I actually brought some props. I have some bigger watches in, yes, very polarizing. And these actually came from, this belongs to another collector. This belongs to a collector. He's actually in here. Let me see, Chappie's Q. We'll dance on your grave. <laughs> There is a loyalty to the brand like none other. It's like nobody can argue that. There have been some of the biggest YouTubers to really denounce and talk about Shop HQ's and Invictus practices. Mainly Shop HQ, how they'll say, hey, this watch is X amount of dollars, but you can get it for a sales price or whatever. And it's not that, it's not even a speed bump for Invicta collectors. They can care less. When you give me something like this that's not like your normal size, for, like this is a 42 millimeter timepiece, that's even too big for some people. But it's all about what you want, right? It's your preference. It's what you like. So, like for this, this beast right here, it's actually it's, uh, it's a Speedway beast or, it's, or what's beast, whatever. Um, I like this watch. I absolute man, the mother pearl is crazy, man. This thing takes up a lot of real estate on the wrist. But it's not even the watch that we're talking about. It is the behind the scenes. So those of you guys that's been following um, Bing Zimmer on Instagram, Jay-Z, Boom Boom, Jason to some. Somebody was even calling him a girl's name. 
Um, the man that used the word synonymous <laughs> more times than a little bit uh, when it comes to Invicta, he has uh, the slapstick humor. He's been a integral part of Shop HQ, him and uh, RJ. Those two together used to host the show um, Power Play. And after the show, they would host, uh, I, I don't know what they, I don't even know what we were calling it, but like we can get on YouTube and like talk more intimately versus it's not it's like the the after party you go to the club and then there's the after party we meet up at white castle and then we you know what i'm saying we drunk off our butts eating white castle and we just hanging out laughing whatever so jay-z puts out a post that he would no longer be with shop hq and that's it right so i saw within 24 hours i think it was less than 24 hours of people knowing that my phone rang i don't know how many times but it rang text messages email i got two okay let me set it up for you real quick so there was like this financial part that i was talking about on if you check out the live you can get it the full video but we ain't got a whole bunch of time on youtube so at this point we about to fast forward to the cruises and all the lack thereof and then then you're going to hear from the other collectors man i'm going to ask them a couple of questions man it's going to be a lot of talking man so just follow along when's the last time we had an invicta cruise 2020 was the last Invicta Cruise, and then there was word that uh, Shop was going to have a live studio audience, and people was hype about that. But again, I think timing was bad because they were doing it in January, February time frame of 2021, I think it was. I love the way Minnesota looks. And snow, like, after, I mean, I grew up in Chicago. After seeing snow, as much snow as you can see, it's beautiful until you have to deal with getting back and forth to your house so if people would have flew out there which they had to cancel it because guess what happened it snowed and it's like you sneeze out there or minnesota sneeze and they producing 45 feet of snow within 30 seconds and it's like mm, that that didn't go over well now what we have now going back to the whole jay-z thing is you have people that's loyal that's really loyal that's really they they rock with Invicta. It don't matter what they say. I don't care what the, the media say. I don't care what none of these big YouTubers are saying. You're not going to step in the way of the loyalty that Invicta collectors have. Flat out. Uh, yo. How you doing, guys? What's up, baby? Pretty upset about Jay-Z being gone. Okay, so so that's, that, and that's my question, bro. Because, you know, tonight he's coming back. I don't know if it's going to be on what for. Yes, 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 bro. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Well, I'm he, wondering if I'm wondering if the uh, the outrage from everybody that we know about it, because it was in the chat big time. Yeah. If they brought yeah. him back, because I mean, I mean I'll, I'll guarantee when they said he was gone, the sales went down at least 50 to 60 percent. I'll what? bet on it. There you he go. go. I know. Some people that have been purchasing, what's up, bro? Purchasing Invicta. Uh, uh, just imagine, Cliff, you you were part of this too. Vic, you know about this. It was e easy for us to buy 20 watches in a year. Easy. That's a low number, I think. I'm, uh, I'm just, that's in a I month. That's <laughs> <laughs> hey, for, for, hey, for, for Cliff, for Cliff that was a, for Cliff. For Cliff, that was I a week. I didn't want to call nobody pockets, bro. I ain't want to call nobody pockets, bro. But hey, uh, hey, for Cliffy, that was a week. <laughs> oh, God Almighty! I did it actually in about a three month span. Uh, I really went crazy this year again. Uh, yeah, we all did. But, we all did. But, I'm, but I am down to like about sixty seven dollars owed, and because I'm going on a cruise, I'm not spending a dime. So, mm. yeah, no, I got. And, and, I don't have. I don't have any value pays, thank God. And I finally got my flight. Finally got my flight. So I'm all set. Got my hotel room for the night. Right. Because I'm going a day early. Because I can't trust Southwest. Uh, no. Right, right, right. But I'm taking from here. So it's going to be a little, hey a little big. You know what oh, I'm saying? Oh, boy. Here, here. Here. Talk about 20 watches in a week. There he is. Okay, guys. Yeah, he's yeah. buying them all from Invicta stores. That's right. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. I heard the chat. Invicta stores, eBay, and, and I bought and the price. I bought, I bought ten and fifty.
team from Invicta stores this year also. And the prices. And they give you coupons all the time, man. Jerry's buying 15 a day from stores. Oh, please. So so, so here's the question. This is for everybody in the chat. And then, like, when I upload this to YouTube, man, feel free to put your comments in there. My question is this. Did they say, was Lord. this stunt or whatever they called it, did, do you guys think this hindered their sales or yeah. caused confusion? Or, like, do you are you still sitting on the edge of your seat to see what happens let's, next? Let's say this. I mean, because... Let's say this, Trap. Well, Without him there, I know Ryan is good, but your biggest person who can tell you exactly what's in a watch, exactly what a watch does, exactly mm -hmm. what it should be doing is gone. That input, man, that's a big thing, having the input of somebody telling you what you're getting and what this style is going to be doing and how to do it and how to deal with it, man. That's gonna that's a, that's a lot of sales, brother, to me. I like to hear that yeah. stuff. Some Right. Something went down. Something went down. Yeah, but the other thing is that he, he brought a, he brought us levity. He he brought comedy to it. A so he weren't just doing a sales show. He had a very very big personality. Yeah, there you go. Now Ryan's fantastic, but Ryan's laid back. Yeah. And now from what I'm seeing, if you're looking at the show tonight, it's mine is on there. Mm -hmm. Mine is becoming a salesperson. Now, okay, I know that's the way Jay Z originally started. He was a, he was a model, and he and he came uh, employed by Invicta. But the thing is, yeah, Lalo fired him. Hmm. Hmm. You gotta mm. remember, they don't work for Shop HQ. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Joel, I started watching the shows for the hosts because I like Jay Z. Right. I like Ryan. I like the women hosts. I didn't care for all of them. Um, I cut off Jill. I mean, Jess, every time, man, she cut you off in a second when RJ was talking or JZ <laughs> was talking. Right. Um, and then after a while, I just got to watching primarily because I enjoyed the hosts and I enjoyed the chat. Um, but if you notice lately, the chat has gone, I don't want to say bad. bad, but it's, bad. it's like five five people in there as opposed to when it was all of us that were in there. Right. Um, yeah, there's 60, there might be 65, 80 people watching, but a lot of those are ninja watchers. That means they're not chatting. They have to watch it that way because they don't have shop on their TV. I know direct TV doesn't have shop anymore, and so they're watching like that. So um, I don't watch that much anymore as I used to. Um, I just got other things going on, and I'm not glued to it. But like I don't have to be glued to it anymore. Right. But when Jay Z left, I remember Kendi went live and she said, "Join me and Jay Z tonight. We're going to be on for blah blah blah." And Jay Z never showed up. So something I'm like, all right, maybe he got sick. Things happen. And then have, you know, right away after a couple of days go by, you're thinking, "Oh, he, it's COVID." Because right away, you know, you can't have any other illness but COVID. Um, right. So he's not there. But then when it became two weeks, then the writing was on the wall. Something happened. Uh, somebody had put in the chat earlier. Shop ain't gonna explain nothing to you. They don't care. But I'm like, and, uh, and, and guess what, y'all? This is it is a business, so you can't fault them for doing handling business. But there's one element that we're forgetting here is they have jumped on this Invicta family bandwagon. They wasn't doing when it was in 2017. You never you heard the Invicta fan, but you never heard Invicta family. Invicta fan and family is completely different. When you put the whole family spin on it. Now you feel invested. You feel like, okay, they're listening to yep. us. AL came on and said on one of those commercials last year, he don't care about the rest of what the watch world or community is doing. All he cares about the customer. And, again, I will post that question. Anybody from shop can jump in. Anybody from Invicta can jump in and leave a comment on a later thing. I don't care. I mean, because I'm, I'm a collector. I'm a fan, just like anybody else in all these four boxes. There's a whole bunch of people in the chat right now. Then there's people on YouTube that's going to be chiming in. Of course, the haters of Invicta, but <laughs> there's a thing, too. Hey, Juan. Is some of the stuff that they said before, hey, some wait. of the Invicta haters, hey, doesn't hey, have any merit. Seeing that this news just dropped out, do they have any merit is what they've been saying? Um, uh, I, I haven't been there since. Well, I've been on the chat off and on, but I don't go like mm -hmm. I used to go. Because no, I go about, about a half hour, hour an hour. That's about it. Especially when I, well, Cliff, especially when I heard Jay Z, Jay Z was gone. I was like, 
you just put a chat in his box. Somehow, some way, he would get back to you and give you a thumbs up, or being them give you something back back to you. You know, yeah, noticing that during the chat. Hey, so in the, I don't chat, think in the chat, uh, was that Rattler uh, said That's customer service is terrible. It is. Uh, yes. uh, Ron, uh, Nightwing That's said the only thing he bought from shop is the Deadpool clock. Mm -hmm. Stores has been the spot. And that's the other thing too, y'all. So, Shop HQ is in competition with Invicta stores. Okay, family. So, yeah, this is the end of the video. All right. So, chime in if you made it this far in the uh, the video. Chime in what you think so far. If you want to see the full video, which is like an hour and something, like an hour and thirty seven minutes, it is a lot of content. We were on a live on Instagram, and there are some questions. That I know a lot of Invicta fans have, but here we are. Jay Z actually posted during this video, during the duration of the day. You see, it's dark now. He posted a video stating that he is now with InvictaStores.com. So you can still get your fix of Jay Z. RJ, as far as I know, is still going to be on Shop HQ. So is there going to be a team? Justin or a team Jay-Z, Mr. Boom Boom, or a team RJ, or do you pick both? Because there's two different I, I don't know. You decide. So, family, thank you so much for watching. Please comment and do what this cat is over here. Whatever. Follow that. Uh, and uh till the next lightning strike, y'all be blessed.